gonna sit here and make this video. Um, it's kind of a important topic to me because uh, I had a good friend of mine um, get hit on her horse by cars and I live in Florida and we have crazy drivers. So the barn I used to be at really wasn't near a main road. So Tuff really never saw this kind of stuff. So this truck's gonna go by. I'm gonna just move him along. So Tuff is afraid of like big trucks that make noise. And I'm sorry if it's windy. So he's afraid of big trucks that make noise. And I'm just gonna kind of walk him around because literally as I was thinking of making this video, I stood him by right here. And when I went to go start to film, a big lifted truck came by with a uh, like an exhaust and he spooked and he didn't spook bad. Um, he did spook. And that's just something that I'm really trying to get him over because he's an amazing trail horse, like best trail horse ever, except for the fact that if it's a big scary car with the exhaust, he does spook and jump. So I'm gonna try to not fall off if he jumps cause I'm filming. So anyway, I'm, <laughs> I'm filming <laughs> and I'm about to start the video and he jumped sideways. And I didn't really think he was even gonna spook at that particular truck. To me, it's more of like dump trucks, like big dump trucks that he spooks at. And look at this douche right here. This is a two lane road. He's doing, it's 35 on here and he's like doing 60 to pass that car. So that's another reason I wanted to make this video is because, you know, people here in Florida, they're jerks. Like, let's see what this guy's gonna do. They're jerks. They'll speed around you. They could give two shits in an acorn if you're on a horse and being on a horse that spooks by loud cars, to add it onto it is really, it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard on both of us because like I said, my friend um, got hit by a car riding to a rodeo and I was already afraid of traffic to begin with because I know he spooks and I'm afraid he'll jump into um, traffic like if he were to spook at like a big truck. So here's another big truck coming, or at least a loud one per se. So I'm gonna just, it's that black one. I'm just gonna walk him around. It wasn't even that loud. So anytime a big truck comes, I'm just gonna kind of get his feet moving. Um, I don't really have the best advice and that was a kind of loud one. I don't really have the best advice on this because I'm trying to fix it myself. But I do know that having our arena literally right on this main road definitely helps. Um, and it definitely, just helped now that that he did spook because it does scare me so bad as crazy as that sounds um so I'm kind of just like we already just we got done with our workout he's pretty sweaty so I just kind of every time he has a good like we end on a good note I kind of just take him over here and like okay by the traffic even though it's loud and scary like I'm gonna let you rest so I let him rest here and it, it really sucks because it's to me I like it better like forward on like if he were to see the car coming but since there's traffic coming from both ways, and like I said, it's a 35 mile an hour road, but people do, I've seen people do an excess of 60. Um, and it's scary, it's scary stuff. So, you're such a good boy, you spooked. Oh, look at that good boy. <laughs> so even though he spooked, it really wasn't that bad. And um, he really didn't, it didn't spook bad. It was actually kind of amazing that he didn't spook that bad. Um, it's also kind of cool that this is off a main road and it's a very populated area, even though it doesn't look it, it's very, Davies a pop, populated place. Um, it's kind of cool because people will slow down and like I've been riding and people honked at me. So all that exposure is good, even though it's as a horse rider, like it's annoying. Like, yeah, you see a horse, don't honk, you know, but it's good, it's good for them. Um, you know, you have people on bicycles and, you know, cars. So I just kind of, I just kind of sit here and, and let them rest after a workout, <laughs> excuse me just to kind of, you know, associate, hey, nothing's gonna happen. I get to rest when cars, gonna, cars go by, fast cars, mufflers, and I don't have to get worked. So just my idea. Um, I don't know how well this is gonna work out because this is just like day two of me doing this. And after every time I work him now, I'm gonna actually walk him out of here um, after he's unsaddled and let him graze across the street on the other side. Um, I've taken him on trail rides and next to traffic and he's he's always been a really good boy but like i said like those big trucks um they, they just seem to scare him you know and it's and it's understandable they're loud they're spooky 
So here's a fast car coming, I can hear it. So I'm just gonna get him to move. Just so he's kind of like, his feet are moved, like he's not just standstill because he spooked at that last truck at a standstill. So I'm just gonna kind of let him move. And those people, slow. some people are really, really good about like slowing down. Others could give two shits and they think about themselves. Um, so here's kind of a big one coming. So I'm just gonna kind of move him over here. So yeah, kind of a scary topic. I mean, um, my friend, and I'm not gonna mention her name, um, was hit riding to a rodeo. She was on the sidewalk and a guy wasn't paying attention. And she was just riding and the car hit her from behind. Like she didn't even see it coming and I don't think the horse did either. Neither of them had any time to react. The guy was going 55 and over. Um, the damage to his car was so bad that he lost the mirror. The reason they were able to track him down and prove that it was him was because he actually fled the scene, of course. That's that's what happens in Florida. Like, people aren't nice here. He actually fled the scene, and the only reason they caught him is because the part, he left his mirror behind, which had horse hair on it, and they matched the part number to that particular car. Um, he actually... He... Uh, left the scene and then dumped the car in a neighborhood actually very close by which was stupid because you know in the horse community even though like this is such a populated era like the horse community here is really tight-knit like everybody knows everybody so if you mess with a horse person like there's gonna be a shit ton of people looking for you and that's exactly what happened like everybody was looking for this car like they had their eyes out and they actually uh, a co-worker of mine actually found the car um, and we knew it was the car because the horse had the horse is a paint horse and it had blue paint like the horse had blue paint on it from the impact and then when they found the car the car obviously had horse hair and was very very much totaled at that point um, my friend got seriously seriously injured she um she actually broke her leg she got like catapulted off the horse over the hood of the car and into the street um the horse the way I'm amazed that the horse survived without any broken legs or limbs um, but the way that they got hit is they were up on the sidewalk and it was a small car small blue car that hit her and when the car hit the curb it bounced up and hit her horse like in like the chest like area like above the chest um, thankfully that the curb was there and the car did bounce up because if not he would have taken out the horse's legs and most likely the horse wouldn't have made it um, the horse had some pretty bad scrapes and cuts but other than that was perfectly fine um, she on the other hand like I said broke her leg and she had to go through a lot of physical therapy um, and a lot of obviously time off from riding so even though it didn't happen to me I still I'm scared by it and especially with a horse that spooks with big trucks I'm like gosh if he like, okay, if I'm riding down here and he spooks because a car's coming up behind him, what if he spooks, say I'm riding this way, what if he spooks to the left if I'm on the other side of the road and he spooks to the left and jumps into traffic? Like, I'm sorry, that just terrifies me. So do I not ride him on the street? No, I do. I always go with a buddy. Um, I just, I'm very careful about it, knowing that he's like that. And any horse can spook. So I guess it's kind of like, I guess you can say I'm kind of a wuss because any horse can spook but see like some people slow down just because they like the sight of horses but not everybody's patient and not everybody's you know willing to to slow down for a horse and a rider even though I am in an arena so I guess like whatever but I don't know I guess because I'm a rider like I slow down like when I see horse people like I slow down like if it's 35 I'm slowing down 15 I'm slowing down half the miles I don't care like I know how scary it can be so I don't know it's just it's just something that you know it's been on my mind and I uh come over here tough come over here buddy so it's just something that's been on my mind and he does spook so you know and I kind of try to when I'm standing here I kind of try to see if there, there are big cars coming and I let him rest here it's the best I know to do so and and that's kind of loud I mean, I don't even know if you can hear me that well in this video, but it's it's loud and we're right here. So I wish I could caught him could have caught him spooking on camera, but I probably would have dropped my brand new iPhone and that's how I make videos and that would have been very bad. So here's a bicyclist coming, which he's not really afraid of, but again, anything that the potential that he could possibly look. You're alright, you're alright. See, he's not really even scared of bicycles, but that's not really a bicycle. 
So he kind of he kind of got worried a little bit, but you know, I just see if if I would have kept him at a standstill while that lady went by, he would have spooked for sure. He would have been like, "Peace, mom," or her. Oh, wait, I'll save you. Hold on. So I just kind of like to get his feet moving a little bit. I really want. I'm trying to get him to the point where I can be on him, and a big tractor trailer goes by, and he's like, "Whatever." But obviously, those things take time. Wait, where are you going? Tough. <laughs> no. Stop. I'm trying to get him to. Can you move over? Come on. No, he wants to go back to the gate. You want to go back to the gate? We'll go to the gate. And I usually work him at the gate. <laughs> um, but since I'm holding my phone, that's kind of difficult. Um, so yeah, so I just, uh, that's what I'm doing and I hope it works out. Um, I'll make an update, uh, as I do this cause I'm going to work on this for quite a while. Can you listen to my leg, please? For Christ's sake, this is hot wire. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of see how it goes. Um, if I'm working him over there, like actually like on it, headphones in, like he, does, like he won't spook if I'm working him. It's just when he's kind of like floating around like this and you know, kind of just paying attention to the outside world, I guess you can say, is when he spooks. So, I'll end that there and see people like to look. <laughs> I've had people thumbs me up while I'm riding. So weird. Um, yeah, so I'll leave that there and, and give you guys an update. Just wanted to make a short video because it's kind of been a little bit. Um, I have been riding. I just, for some reason, when I leave work, I always forget to bring my like equipment to like attach my camera on the fence. So, therefore, I haven't, I don't really have that many of, like, just me working. But I do have a couple videos of me working both horses. So, I'll just kind of put that here with some music and kind of make it a little something-something. So, all right. YouTube, thank you for watching. If you have any spooky horses, I want to know what your horse spooks at. Tell me. What is your horse spook at? Um, is it a bird? Is it a tiger in the bush, even though there's no tiger in the bush? Let me know, comment down below, and um, tell me what your horse spooks at. For now, me and Tuff are gonna call it quits, because he was a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. So we're gonna call it quits, and we're gonna go feed him, and rinse him off, and then I'm gonna go home and eat and rinse off. So, all right, YouTube, later.